Yes, sir, we can hear you, sir. Go on, sir. Hello, Ladiji. I'm back. Hello. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear, sir. Okay, well, just I just went off, but I'm back. We thank God. Well, um, part of uh, I'm part of the speaker, I'm moderating, but I also have to say one of the things: the role of clinical psychologists in restoring mental health in our society. Well, we hear psychologists or clinical psychologists. The study my mind and behavior, yes. But clinical psychology is a mental health professional with highly specialized training in making diagnosis and psychological treatment of mental behavior and emotional illnesses. We do not prescribe medications. That is left for Dr. Akimala and our colleagues. They do, they prescribe medications for patients and clients. We clinical psychologists will use psychological forms of treatment, which will be in form of psychotherapy. And our baselines to get to that, we do psychological assessments. We run different kinds of interventions which the individual gets well. And uh, to be a clinical psychologist, one of the strengths is you have to be an active listener. You have to be, you have to have that ability to listen to people when they come out to discuss their problems. So active listening also is involved. You have to pay attention to normal issues such as body language. But at times, some of the clients are not free. Or patients, we use patients. Hospital, hospital, which is not in the other side, we use clients. So you look at the body languages and you should be able to pick a cue that this person is not comfortable, now professionally excuse the person that's so given the room to interact with that individual. And the professional clinical psychologist must be patient. Therapy is not a fast process. It takes time to help clients to overcome major problems in their life. So psychologists need to have plenty of patients. And um, we work in three major areas. The major areas where people know us to function is in the medical field. And for clinical psychologists, we function mostly in clinical studies, especially in psychiatric studies. And the clinical psychologists will play a vital role in the treatment and recovery of mental health patients. We assess that by helping to formulate the diagnosis and evaluating this patient. And we work hand in hand, and we work together for almost two decades, for more than now, and we complement each other professionally. Because that is why we have restrictions. But the psychologist must know is our balance. They also have, we have business psychological instruments which will help us to elicit and find problems with the patient or clients are going through. They will render our psychotherapy, which is at different levels. We do individual, which is one on one. We do family therapy, which it could be a, a, a member of the family has an issue. But we need to bring the family together to be able to work with that individual. And also, we, we, we handle marital therapy, couples therapy. Yes, people while problems don't we call the pastors, we call the Islamic clerics, they will look at it like Daddy said earlier, and our father said, the church has its role, but at times we have to take it higher with professional interventions and expertise to be able to deal with that. That, and like uh, Dr. Kiki also said, we work in corporate settings. A lot of Clinical psychologists and psychiatrists now. We work with a lot of corporate organizations. We, we have members of the EAP, the Human Resource Department, we function with them there. We have a some program, which is all encompassing now. Because in, at workplace, there are so many challenges going on. 
He talked about depression. He talked about stress, stress-related problem, and even conflicts among employees also. We see it, which could be which could be triggers to mental health, to mental illness. Because if an individual is working in the unit, you know, for example, have an individual who got that job on, on merit, he has worked in the department for three or four years. He has won awards, and suddenly there's a, a decline in his performance. Showing him the way out is not the solution. Because he has won awards, he has done so well. You want to look at factors responsible for that decline. It could be, and it's, uh, for example, he's posted to another department. It could be adjust that problem in that department. He might not be able to adjust well because the people they work there might find they've got to come there. It could be own problems as well. It could be a nagging wife. I'm not being biased. It could also be a nagging husband. You know, so own problems also move into workplace. So we we'll do baseline assessment to find the cause of this problem and we'll be able to work with employees in organization. And it can also function in different ways. And another one is um, the private practice. We can say going to work in private practice settings, which we see a lot. Everybody cannot work with the government. So we have some of their private practice. And from there, they're able to help and range a solution. And like also in schools, like Ms. Ayala said, well, the guidance, the guidance and counselors will work to a level. And the clinical psychologists can also take it up from there, where we have problems which are psychopathologically related. So those are some of the impacts we have on the society. I want to stop my stop my thoughts there because of time. Thank you very much. So the floor is open for questions and answers from all the eight presenters, the eight speakers. We have Dr. Akiola, Dr. Sebastian Okeke, we have uh, Mr. Laura. At Tessegram, we have Mrs. Ayala, Oniide, Dr. Manel Oyemi, Agata, our superstar. Agata Amata is the pastor of Kiowa's chat is and my humble self. So the floor is open for questions and answers. It will take very short ones because we are running out of time. But we still have some other activities in line. You can just raise up your hand by going to the Icon there, and I'll see it if you have a question there. If not, we progress. Because most of the, the, present, the speakers are just share their thoughts. But the uh, question and answer is relevant for clarity or if you have comments to make. So we'll, go, we'll give room for 30 minutes, 30 seconds or one minute. No hands up. OK, yes. Joseph Duke has raised up his hand. Joseph Duke. You have the you have the floor. Carl, please. Can you unmute Joseph Duke? Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, you're welcome. It's a privilege to be on this platform today. Happy birthday, Madam Esther. It's such a joy to see this day with you. 50 sure does look good on you. So um, I would quickly go straight into this. I am more or less a filmmaker. So I'm talking from the angle of media. And I understand that this is a very serious um, issue that we are currently facing globally. That is talking about mental health. And to be honest with you, I recently made a film and until then I've never ever thought of it that it's actually something major in this country and there are people that have been working tirelessly for years to ensure that there's a better society for people with mental health. But I still have to say this that maybe we need to do more because in terms of media there's little or no um, impact especially awareness for people. And if you, if you agree with me, this generation largely depend on what they see through their mobile phones and television. The power of media is so strong. It's changing the dynamics of everything. I mean, take, a, take for example, we are having a meeting right now 
all through the power of media. I think media should be employed more in channeling um, the course of mental awareness, even in schools. Because if you look at it, the primary causes of mental illness are, if you, uh, well, basically professionals might have more better analysis, but, but for me, I know overworking is one of them. I think one of the speaker mentioned that, especially in this part of the world where people do over time and all of that. Poverty is also one strong part of it. Idleness, especially amongst the youth, idleness and then um, bad parenting. So some of these things, if we can address it, just like uh, Pastor said, if we can address some of these things from the roots and the way we can communicate some of these things is media. So I, I want to look at how can we incorporate like this card that um, Madam Esther had done, which is a very applaudable um, innovation in this space. I think if we can find a way to incorporate this into multimedia channels so it can get to the right people. And then every other intervention in terms of policy, can we put it in there? for everyone to know how these things are affecting people and what can be done, especially in media. There are different channels, radio, drama, television series. That's how most of these foreign countries are influencing our youth. Most of our youth now, they don't even wear skirts, they wear jeans. It wasn't like that years back. You know, most of them put on wigs all day, all night with big eyelashes. It wasn't like that. It's media that did all of that. And they're using these channels to promote what we don't want. And yet we have issues, but we are not maximizing the power of media. So I just want to put this across. Um, if there is ways we can, like we said, we're looking at policy link, legislations and financing. We should also look at part of the strategies for getting across to people should be uh, media. And I strongly advise that should be considered as major because it's a powerful tool in redefining the scope of what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joseph Duke, for your contribution. You made a very meaningful contribution and also suggestions in terms of how she's going to market, push these cards out. That is what fascinated me to ask. As well, when I saw those cards, the way I saw those cards, I don't, and now I saw what I could do professionally with those cards. And there and then I discussed with Dr. Akunala, we made that and saw that card. This is a card that I can just spread the taxes cards on the table with different emotional messages, give my client or my patient a play sheet of paper, and walk out of that room and come back next 30 minutes. Please, and I give that person an instruction, please. Pick the ones that you feel you are going through out of this emotional problem. Which one? And she picks about six or seven. And that, that is enough investigation for me. It has reduced my problem. So I know what I'm addressing straight. And I keep looking at uh, Mr. Nicoya. How did you do this? And you have this, and you're not a millionaire. And that's what I share with her. So we are going to help her including you, Joseph. We're going to do everything to help us promote this good work. That is why we are all here. And we're going to do everything to support a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough work. Because those cards has meaning. It's significant for practitioners like myself, Dr. Akiola. It can be also significant in the media world. And if, even in, in school, different areas. And that is where we are going to help her to push. I have, uh, I don't have power in media. Agatha is here. We can take it up from here to help her push this. And I'm bringing you in too. Thank you so much, Joseph. Also, we have uh, Obunaya Samuel, also raised up his, his name. Can we have you quickly? Obunaya Samuel. Good afternoon, sir. And good afternoon okay, to the whole I'm house. Clear. Can you hear me? Am I Loud clear? And clear? Okay, sir. Loud and clear. Uh,
Hello, Samuel. Um, wonderful. I I had a light of a lot of eye opening moments. So, but I want to really ask. I heard Dr. Sebastian when he was talking about um, some documents that can be used to assess some staff and to help prove them properly in their place of work to reduce the possible occurrence of depression. He, won, he mentioned that when staff are placed where they are supposed to be, they are rightly uh, in ability, uh, it will help to reduce the occurrence of depression. So my own question is this, do we have um, devices like these that can help students uh, to actually locate areas where their innate ability can help them function properly? Like, you know, we have cases of parents who want their children to do science by all means. Uh, parents, some of them want them to do so many things. But, and so many times, that's what the child wants to do. And when you go ahead to take up some of the loads of these, uh, the demands of these courses and all that, why they don't produce the expected results? Also, sometimes it makes them uninterested. As it, we have to push them and pull them. Through. So, I want there be some of the examples of some of these devices that can help profile the child where he belongs early and probably that can help parents to understand that uh, pushing the child contrary to the person's natural ability. I wouldn't know where um, light can be thrown on such areas. Yes, that's just my um, humble question. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Samuel. Yes, I, are, we call some of them uh, paper pencil tests designed for different purposes. I'll give you an example. We have the ones we use in hospital settings to assess okay. level of depression, level of anxiety, level of stress, which are tailored towards clinical issues. Then also in workplace, there are also instruments which measure performance, which measure stress level at work, and factors responsible for those uh, pathologies, those experiences, those external experiences. So it is applicable at workplace and also applicable in clinical settings. And also, it doesn't matter whether it's an adult or a child. There are some other instruments, or let me use the word, this paper pencil test, which and the children are able to identify their strength and weakness. can measure an, a child's IQ. A child's level of intellectual capabilities might not even be able to carry what the parents expect at times. So he wants to read medicine. Does he have the ability to read medicine? Because dad is a doctor, mommy is a doctor. Or the siblings are in medical school. That particular individual might not be able to do well in medical school. It could do something lesser. But because of the standards of the family or expectations by parents, the child is forced, I'm using the word forced, to read medicine. So the performance, what do you expect in medical school? Failures. And when they now, after first and second, are moving to another course, he might have lost his confidence. So it goes down to education and enlightenment. And the role of media also in helping to, to push all these informations out to parents. We work with children according to their level. And at times when we push them beyond their capabilities, we see a lot of uh, um, outcomes, negative outcomes. We see them dropping out of school. I'll give you a quick example now when you want to, they are, they are, even when a child is not doing well, and you tell that child to go and enroll in a vocational training. Vocational training still requires skills. For, for a tailor, a tailor has to know length and breadth. You have to know how to measure and cut clothes. It requires little, a, 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 it's, high, it's high skill. Or some carpentry works which are high skill. So you push a child that doesn't have that ability, he or she becomes frustrated and Failures will occur, even in, 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 in occupational training. 
So it's large. It's so large. You can look at it from different point of view. But there are standard psychological instruments or paper pencil tests which can be used to elicit information and a professional would have to come in to start helping to deal with that problem. It's not just advice or counseling. At times, it goes beyond that. Thank you very much. So that's the only last question there. Let's talk move to the second part of this program, which we are going to run very fast. So now that you please, can you help us show the demo of the product? The product. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we, can we see the demonstration, please? The, Hello, everybody. It's nice to be here. Now, my name is Esther Oyibola Adikoya. I'm a writer, a novelist, and an emotional health therapist. Now, I'm the president of Atroscare Foundation, and I also write novels that is under the um, Atro series. I have, like, texting fictions and also other therapeutic books. Now, let's talk about... Um, the emotional health, how I came about the Arthros emotional health counseling cards. Now, so many years, you know, when I was about to write my book, that is Precarious Faith. Now, this book came out in the year 2008. I discovered, before the book came out, I discovered what World Health Organization stated. And, um, and then, World Health Organization stated that by the year 2020, that depression is going to be the second leading cause of death and worker disability. You know, and then by the year 2030 is going to be, you know, um, the major cause of worker disability and even causes high rate of uh, mortality. And then, far back then, the, 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 the passion had been our heart crying, heart Scare foundation, is what can we do before the year 2020? And by the time we enter the 2020, the pandemic happened. But then, before then, like, we have been prepared before it. And one of the, the preparation is to come up with this emotional health counseling card in order to help, um, in order to help discover emotional issues in, in, in different people. That is in different because the, the vision of the of the angel actually we believe in a world without depression to build a world without depression and also our mission is to promote and restore emotional wellness to the depressed through education and therapeutic support and um, the, the therapeutic support has to do with uh, you know, the emotional health counseling clinic that we do and then we came up with what we call the arthros emotional health counseling cards and we have different different version now now this one is the psychotherapy cards and it contains a curative and healing words for talk therapy to help the client or the counselee you know whoever we are counseling and then we have the um this particular cards this is has to do with the, the spiritual therapy because it has some scriptural and a spiritual you know a capsules that you can use for spiritual therapy to help because the word of god is actually spirit and is light and is quick and active you know to deal with that emotional issue and then this actually is also um a psychotherapy card for the children edition that is from the ages of even one can be supervised. When you're using it, you can be supervised from the ages of one to like seven. But from eight years and thereabout, they can be they can use it because of um, the pictures. Now, now let's how do we how does it run? How do you use it? The actual emotional health counseling card. And that's that's for the the psychotherapy card for the psychological counseling. And um, this is the way it works. So let me just bring it out. Inside of these cards, we have like um, 36, I call them acts of the acts um, cards. That means we have like um, 36 pictures of different emotional ills right inside of the card. And there are two ways to eat. So we have, like here we have the the hungry at the hungry at and then if there the, the timely intervention and prevention and so this is what we are going to achieve 
And so this is the happy heart. This is what we want to, you know, to achieve, to restore the happy, the angry heart, so happy heart. And then behind this, these are the resource tools. And some of it is the creative works that you can use to manage, control, and overcome an angry heart. And then we have other hearts too, about 36 different, and then the, the positive aspect. And also in the card, we actually have, you don't have to stress yourself. We already have some instructional manuals how to use the card how to use the card so we have uncovered the different emotional heart status in it identify and select the peculiar heart condition that is the emotional heart condition then locate the healing word and capsules that is behind the card read through internalize it then follow the instruction to how to use it and so these are some of it so this are it contains the healing word capsule which is for what, these are what treatment for different emotional heart condition. So that's just what you will use in order to help you. It's all about what therapy. Spiritual, for the spiritual counseling. So just for example, like here we have um, the fearful heart. This is number two in the spiritual therapy um, cards. And this is what we want to achieve, how to make the fearful heart confident. And behind it, we have some healing scriptures, and I call it healing capsules, scriptural capsules. And we have like here, Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 16, I rejoice, therefore, that I have confidence in you in all things, that I have confidence in God. Uh, Psalm 27 verse 1 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? And because the word of God is quick and active, sharper than into a aged sword, and because the word that God speaks to us, their spirit and their life. So believe we we, we believe that um, this word our word therapy that share up and uh, allay every form of fear. Okay, so we have other ones like this, a heart that is broken, a heart that is broken. So what the spiritual therapy to mend that heart together? So we already have the healing scriptures for the broken heart, Psalm 147, verse 2 to 6, and the other scriptures are here that you can read to help out that particular client. And so now let's talk about the, the psychotherapy um card which is for the children now this one is more interesting because children might not really understand the heart issue but they can identify actually with the emoticon that is the emoji that has to do with emotion and we have example here for children that have fearful they are always afraid they are afraid of the lights afraid of darkness afraid of so many things so when they see they say ah, mommy this is the way I feel because they don't know how they, they cannot even put it into words how they feel. But when they see it, it makes them feel it's a user friendly and because it is a visual head card. And so they was like, Oh, this is the way I feel. I say, Oh, okay, if you are afraid, then um, this is it. You need to be brave. And mommy will say, How can I what can I do to be brave? You don't have to stress yourself, it's just there behind written what you can do to help guide your children, especially supervise them, especially when they are maybe from one to like seven years old, you know, so that both of you can talk about it. Just like, let's talk about your feeling, let's talk about your emotion, and before you know it, you have brought healing to your child. Okay, so, and also, another addition, a bonus, you know, to the children pack, we have a, what we call the affirmative card, that is for, for affirmative, for confession, positive confession for that child, or for those children, that what you want to be, I'm gifted, I'm creative, and before you know it, it will allay whatever negative views they have, I am smart, I am intelligent, so this is the thing they can do, and they can even put it, you know, you, you can also sing along with it, okay, so you can actually see now that um, the Atros Emotional Health Counseling Card is actually a counseling resource tools uh, that's going to help uh, counselors, help um, the psychologists, and that can also be used in different sectors of the economy. It is also uh, because this card is actually um, is a user-friendly that it can be used by individual units and all that because of what it does. 
like um, checking the emotional status, you know, of, of, of children, of yourself, and even if you are a counselor or a psychologist, your clients or your counselee, you check the emotional status. And then it helps to build the emotional intelligence and resilience, you know, in your clients or your patient or, or, or the counselee, as the case may be. This is at Rose Care Foundation, um, a contribution to national wellness that is promoting national wellness and restoring emotional wellness in all of these national, uh, you know, um, the, to the stakeholders and also different sectors of the economy in order to um, combat against what World Health Organization, uh, what World Health Organization have stated. So this is our own contribution to help restore emotional awareness. And then to get us, you know, and to also to, to get your copies, um, check, you, you can see on the screen how you can get us our social network and those, and uh, also our distributors, our agents that works with us, and the phone numbers to call, and also the address if you want to come in and see us. Thank you. It's all about promoting and restoring emotional wellness to all. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi, sir. We can hear you loud and clear. Hello? We can hear you loud and clear, sir. Okay. We've all um, listened to the demonstration. Awesome. It is awesome. It is awesome. It's a card that. Um, Everybody does this to half individual. I wonder how she was able to sit down. I asked her how she was able to sit down to design the words, the scriptures, yes, and even the others for psychotherapy, for counseling. She has done a great work. And that is why we all need to support her. And at this point, we have the launching. When we say launching, we are not talking about, oh, come and donate. You know how you can reach her? You know how you can buy this cash? It is very, very good. I have started using this card for the past one month, and I've seen results as a professional. How it has helped to reduce or help in identifying emotional problems Patients and also in clients. And for uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Aroni, this is a cell. To me, it is a cell for school owners and um, administrators. I don't know, maybe you can create a forum for her to have a presentation of these cards. And the, the guidance and counselors of those schools can be trained for specific teachers who have had trainings in, in, in counseling can be trained on how to use these cards. So we want you to reach her. It's open, you all have a contact. I can tell her, you can, I can write your phone number on the platform or on the chat box for people to be able to reach you so that they can be able to have access to these cards. It is beautiful and it's not expensive, it's not expensive. For me, it is, it is, it is under, Undercoated. So much you can benefit from this one. Thank you. So we we'll go to the cutting of the birthday cake, which would, Ms. Uh, Adekoya, can we see your cake, please? Can we have your cake on the platform?
data. Mm. Huh? Then. Awesome, awesome. Mm. Okay, at uh, this point in time, uh, Carly, can you please unmute all of us to sing a bad song for, for her? Then you mute us back. Can you unmute everybody? So we can sing a bad song for her. I'll come. Now we're all free to unmute ourselves. You are still muted, sir. All free to unmute ourselves. Please, let's go ahead to I'm unmute ourselves. Quickly. Let's all go ahead to unmute ourselves and sing the birthday song, please. Yeah. Unmute yourselves. We have. Huh? Okay, it is already. Lawrence, Lawrence, I said that. Yes. Are you leading us with the band? Which is the one join? <laughs> really? Okay. Are we all ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday. Bless you, Pastor Esther. Okay. May the good May be happy in Jesus' name. Long life is your portion. Oh, oh, bless you. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. It's obvious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Why did you, you can please where is the celebrant? Please where is the celebrant? Okay. Um, Miss can you stand up and cut your cake at the count of Jesus? Um, J. E. Let's wait for her. She's not here. She's not here. Let's wait. Let's wait. She's not here yet. Sally Brown, please, we are waiting for you. I don't want to be a part of this cake. Oh. Ah, ah. Promise. Hallelujah. This cake is beautiful. Hello, Mrs. Adekoya. I think she's ready to cut the cake. We can't even see her. We can't even see her. Let's wait for her. Hello, Mr. Adekoya. Cut the cake now. Yay! So at this point, I'll call on uh, Pastor. Wow, beautiful cake. Wow. 
Wow. Mimi, I will not see the baby cake. Hello, Joy B. Why she sitting? What's on she seventy? Why she eighty? Why she ninety? Bag bag. Hello. Take off your your video, please. Video. This is Adekoya. Can you please unmute her? Can you please unmute her? Can you, can you unmute her, please? It's, uh, I think she switched huh? gadgets. Okay, okay, can't tell me. Because you switch gadgets. Okay, I'll call on her. Part of you, are, you are home, ma. So, okay, I'll call on part of today. Part of today is part of today, ma. I have you. Can you please unmute part of today, ma? Can you please unmute part of today, ma? Can you please unmute part of today, ma? It's giving us the special prayer for a bad day. Please on 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 meet Pastor today, ma. M A B. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Please, can I have a special prayer for her from you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. We bless the name of the Lord for this beautiful opportunity that we'll all have to celebrate God's daughter. And I want to, first of all, also appreciate everyone who had contributed immensely in all that have been taking place. I've been following what has been going on. And we thank God for all the psychologists and all the things we've been discussing. And uh, incidentally, I'm a graduate of psychology and I was so interested and very interesting to hear everything that has been said. I want to bless you, sir. Uh, Dr. Professor Lawrence, I don't know which one you are, but I thank God for the moderating, the contribution, and all the lectures we have received. I pray God will reward each and every one of us. As we came to, as we came to celebrate this God's daughter, the Lord will give us also, bring us opportunities to be celebrated by many other people in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yes. I have a simple advice. I, I want to congratulate you, God's daughter, Mr. Esther, and Mr. Mrs. Esther Adequaya, on this wonderful occasion of your birthday. My desire is that you shall be from glory to glory, from honor to honor, from Amen. blessing to blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before I pray Amen. for you, just one minute before I pray for you, I'd like to drop you a scripture and every one of us a scripture, which we all know, and it is found in the book of uh, Psalm 90, verse number, five, verse number 12. The Bible says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. What am I saying here? Just briefly, we need to understand, and we all agree, that living long life is very good. Every one of us, we pray for it. The Bible promised us long life, and we desire God for that. But in addition to that, and probably bigger than that, is the donation to life, is the gifting that each life, each person gives to life. I am most excited because 
because our celebrant today I, is someone that has been used to giving the world something. She came up some few years ago with a Isabella novel and many other series like that. And it's such a blessing to this blessing to teenagers everywhere. We graduated from there, a film came out of that book. And we also graduated from there now. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, wondering how she came about what we are seeing today. Now, what am I saying here? It's good for each and every one of us to live long life. We pray for that one to be 90, one to be 100, as Jesus starts is coming. But beyond living to become 100, is the quality of life that we live, the donation that we gave. Acts 13, verse 36, the Bible says, for David, after he has served his generation, David, the active word in that scripture, 13, 36, the book of Acts, the active word there is the word he served, he donated, he gave his generation. Ladies and gentlemen, and wonderful people celebrating God's daughter today, God is giving us a gift in Sister Esther, who is giving to the world. He's not only he's using this, his 50th birthday celebration to donate again, to give something again to the world, to make life sweeter for people, to make life more interesting to live in, to help to solve problems in the world that the devil is causing. And we thank God for you, Sister Esther, that God will bless you more and more in Jesus' name. He will further Amen. enlarge your coast. It will increase you on every side. God has given you a gift to mankind, and that is what we are seeing today. One, some of the things that God embedded in you, you are giving to mankind. And I pray that every year you will come out with something good for mankind in Jesus' Amen. name. You will donate to the world. You will live Amen. many years, but every year of your life, you'll be donating quality things to the world, just as we are celebrating today. And we pray mm -hmm. that this will go into not only for psychological um, treatment, as we have been saying, it will even go into our academic structure, academic structure, and become an object of teaching other younger people that is coming up. Praise God forevermore. Amen. I thank God for all of us who are here today. I thank God for what we have done and this epoch-making encounter that we have today. And we look forward to many more that God will do through the life of his daughter. I thank God for you and God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God forevermore. Amen. As I said, my Hallelujah. assignment is to pray for you Amen. and then we are going to pray and dedicate this project that the Lord has given to mankind through you. Shall we all pray whatever we have, if we can unmute, so that we can get to hear your voice. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so, Lord, I thank you for the life of your daughter. I decree today from glory to glory for her, from power to power, from honor to honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray God give you longer life and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will enlighten you. God will increase you on every side. Amen. God will bless the, bless the work of your hand in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I decree today that the wisdom from the inside of you will proceed to be a blessing to mankind in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree today that every year you will come out with something new and unique to bless mankind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I today that in this 50th birthday celebration of yours, God will give you a gift that man cannot give you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the world celebrate you today, heaven too will celebrate you and bless you with a gift that only God can give you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I bless you today and I decree that the protection of God will be sure over all your interests your husband, your children, your business setup, and everything that has to do with you, God will defend you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I lift this project before the Lord. I say, God, we dedicate these cards, this project.
we dedicated for the pro protection, deliverance of many families, many homes, many men and women. We dedicated for the safety of lives. We dedicated even for prosperity for God's daughter. We dedicated for peace in our society. We dedicated for progress in our society. We dedicated, Lord, in the name of the Father, in, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, sir. God bless you. We we'll bless God for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Today, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Praise God. The prayer session was so moving. We can't even intervene. We must finish that prayer. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Behind every successful man, as a woman, but we are, and also behind every successful man, woman, we are also a man. So I'm going to call on Mr. Adekule Adekoya, who has supported our friend over the years. He has given us so much support. And without his support, she won't be able to achieve all this. So we call on Mr. Adekule Adekoya for. Close the remarks. Yes. Thank you, sir. Close the remarks. Have the floor. Praise the Lord. Sir, you have the floor. We should have caught you to cut the cake with that. But um, that was an oversight, sir. So let's hear the let's hear your closing remarks. A vote of thanks from you. Praise the Lord. I want to thank uh, everyone who have come on board to speak on this emotional wellness card. I want to thank everyone because this is a, a major event in our lives that uh, you have come to participate. And it's all about fulfilling purpose and being a blessing to people. Uh, all about the emotional card is to be able to touch lives and to be able to bring uh, blessing to lives that have been one way or the other uh, traumatized in one form or the other. And so I want to thank you for being a part of this. I want to appreciate you and give you and uh, say God will bless you for all your efforts uh, coming on board and sharing. And I know this will go a long way to be a blessing to people as many that will watch it even after now. And I know it will touch their lives and be a blessing to them. Once again, I want to thank you. Uh, I don't want to start calling names, but I want to thank every one of us in one form or the other. But I would like to call my pastor, hallelujah, our DPC, Pastor Mabinori. Thank you, sir, for coming. We really appreciate your effort and taking out time out of your busy schedule to pray, we give you, we thank God for your life. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Adekoya. Mm -hmm. So I will just want to add to his voice by thanking all the participants that attended. It's only very few people that have left, very few. So I have to, I want like to call everybody and thank you. I want to thank our control man first, Karel Adeji. Thank you so much for making this successful. Uh, my new friend, Lawrence Atesegam. Atesegam. It's okay. Madam, that is Mrs. Anelani, our school owner and administrator. I understand that my Aburo, my colleague, is a clinical psychologist. Hi, you are here. Thank you so much. Benita Osifo, Dr. Sebastian Okeke. I'd like to work with you in the future. Um, Pastor Fumi Okuomo. Oh, this is Madam. Oga was here earlier. So Fumi Okuomo, thank you so much. Thank Oga for us. Bemi Olowo Lafe, Felix Ot5. Joseph Duke, my new friend. Kao Debida Paul. 
Lekko Shomori, Mekwanya Labisi, Marilyn Akiyo Akiyo Ade, Odukwe Grace Akiyemi from East London, Mommy Fumi Sam Domingo, Musumola Ola Oloye De, Mr. Bona Samuel, Mrs. Adekoya Aderoke, I'm sure that's the family of the Adekoyas. Ola Ekabu, Olubisi Ola Dekbo, Shola Ono, Ono Ola Kbo, Till last night, I saw Madame. Madame was attentive. Also, till last night, I did you. Our pastor today, ma'am. That uh, that is my pastor, Pastor Tunde Okwamo. Your prayer has also worked too. And I tell you, but just all I about the Shogun. You thank you very much, all of you, for participating and taking your time to attend this wonderful 50th birthday on behalf of my sister and an achiever. She, yeah. she has achieved so much. And I tell her, you don't know her what. You just don't know her what. You are so big. And I associate with people that are very, very big. You are big in the mind. And, you, and we are going to help you push you to the top. Because you have a lot to still offer. So at this point, I call, we'll, we'll call, I'll call on Pastor Lekon Shomori if he's not here. I didn't come across that name at all. If Pastor Shomori is not here, is Pastor Shomori here? Oh, my Pastor Sir. Uh, Ekaso Sir. Please unmute, unmute Pastor, unmute Pastor. Hmm. God bless you, sir. Mr. Adekoya, you are so much, you are so blessed. You are so blessed. You are surrounded with geos. These are general overseers of churches. So, Pastor Shoma, you can give us the closing prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to bless the name of our God for my sister, who actually clocked 50 today. It's actually a gift to mankind. And we pray that the Lord who has started a good work in us will complete it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? Our Father and our King, we bless your holy name. We return all glory back unto you. All glory back unto you for the morning of this meeting. We thank you, O God, for the knowledge that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your spirit that has still worked through us today. We thank you for all the learnings that we have received. Father, we pray that you accept us and accept everything that you are giving to us in Jesus' name. Father, we commit your daughter unto your hands. Lord, as she's going even into the world to face another stage in her life, we pray by your mercy, you will go with her in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everyone that you have used to even facilitate this meeting. Lord, we pray that your hands of power will continually be upon them to do them good in all their ways. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying and giving. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Have a great day. So, at this point, we are drawing our final curtain. It's time meeting most of you wonderful people. I don't forget names. Thank you very much for make for honoring our sister. God bless you all. Have a lovely time. We have to close now. I try to find out. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, you sir. We love you. Thank you, sir. What do you have to say? Thank you, sir. I do feel. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> my pastor, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.